I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence before investing your own money. Your capital is at risk. When you invest in the stock market, the prices can go up as well as down. Please do your own research. Hello and welcome back to this month's this is March's update, third one of 2022. Currently the portfolio sits at just over 4,100, which is good news. This month has been a real grower month, so I'm really pleased with this month. So, um, started of the month at 9% overall up and finishing the month at 16%, so that's like 6%. Growth throughout the month, that's really, really strong. That's a good sign. Um, I've uh, added another two more holdings to my investment portfolio to give some people ideas of what returns they're getting. So we'll just have a quick run through of what we've got. So 3M, still down, but still okay. Uh, that's okay, still okay, it's up. So we've got one down, one up. AGN. So it's doing okay. Apple, nice little one there. Keep going on strong. Archer Daniel's doing okay. at and that's still down. Still really waiting for the, the Ward Brothers split on that. To see what's going on. And see if if I keep it or sell it. I don't know. But, so that's what I'm waiting for that one. Atomic Data, Automatic Data, doing okay. Viva. Yeah, another good strong one. Bank of Montreal, doing okay. Bank of Nova Scotia, whatever you say, how do you say it? It's doing okay. Oil, doing tremendous. If you drive a car, you probably understand the feel the pain of this. Is all prices are really high. And I'm getting good returns on it. Sorry, but I like oil. I don't like paying for it the way I do, but it is what it is. British Tobacco. I can't believe, well, I can believe it, but I was going to get rid of this. But I mean, it's, it's just doing so well, so I'll keep hold of it a little bit longer. Maybe bin it off for towards the end of the year. So I don't see tobacco products as a thing I want to stay in. But the dividend is really good, but... Um, when your products kill your customers, it's not really a viable business, in my, in my opinion. But there we go. Cardinal Health doing okay. Caterpillar doing okay. It's green still. Chevron, that's a, a US oil company, doing great. Love it. Again, okay, we've gone over all this, doing well. Chubba's doing okay. Coca-Cola's doing okay. The first one, new one I've added, Jaggio, these do alcoholic drinks, Guinness, Smirnoff, etc. Uh, I've added this because, well, we've had a bit of a decent amount of weather just lately in the UK. And um, I think we're going to have a good summer. And either way, with inflation and interest rates, etc., people might not go out to drink, but they'll certainly start drinking at home. And quite a popular brands that people drink this company deals with so uh, I'm waiting for a good summer and I think that will do well direct line insurance um, I think I missed the boat on that one really that's starting, that's not doing a great it was it was starting to rise now it's sort of on, on the downer not too disappointed yet we'll see how that goes but I think it's okay but again it's down not what I was expecting Eco Labs, hmm, not doing so good. Utility company, MS Electric, or a US utility company, doing okay. Franklin Resources, this is up and down all the time. But it's, it's down at the moment, not good. General Dynamics, up and doing great. Um, the situation in the world at the moment is helping this company out. Being, being what it is, War Machine. It's one of its main businesses, so that's obviously going to be doing great. Gladstone Land, well, 
it's, it's, it's up on share price, but um, come the dividends. I don't, I don't know. I had good feelings for this, but I don't know. But it's doing okay at the moment. GlaxoSmithKline. It's doing okay. Happy with that. IBM. I am happy with this one. Uh, they did a split a little while ago. Can't remember what they split out. What it split out to, but I can't remember. But I sold it because I just didn't, didn't like it, and I didn't think that IBM would recover the way it has after the split. I thought it, it would devalue this this side of the business as well, but it hasn't. So I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased to kept hold of it. And all these tool works, they're just affected by the global supply chain, so they're down a little bit. But I'm okay with that. First of all, ETFs. Doing okay? Yeah, I'm happy with that one. That's quite a new one. I'm reasonably happy with it so far. And then another ETF for the FTSE 100. It's doing okay. Uh, another ETF for Global Clean Energy. That's recovered. So I'm actually really happy. That was at a loss not so long ago. And now it's back in the profit. I'm reasonably happy with that. I have got vested interest in, in clean energies. It's a little bit of a passion of mine, so that's why I have that one. Not for any other reasons, I just uh, I'm passionate about renewables. Uh, bonds, mm, not doing good. Not not doing a good at all, but that's a, that's a monthly paid dividend, so I do like it, but it's down quite a bit at the moment. I'm not happy with that. Sainsbury's, down, disappointed. Yeah, not doing great. Disappointed that one, I think that was a bad, bad choice. But we'll see how the year pans out. Still early days. Johnson & Johnson. Another consumables. Doing really good. Happy with that. JP Morgan and Chase. Disappointed that's down. Because normally banking at the moment with higher interest rates would do better. So I'm a little bit disappointed that's down. But still okay. Gimby Clark's down. It's not good. Quite a few of the US ones are taking a bit of a hit at the moment. Legal in general, another finance one. That's down again. With interest rates the way they are, I'm, I'm surprised that finance com finance ones are, are on a downer at the moment. I expect them to be higher than this. Lowe's, another US company doing okay. LTC Properties doing great. Probably one of my favourites in this portfolio. Main Street Capital, a little bit, a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down. That's what that one is. It's doing okay. Not worried about that yet. McDonald's, doing good. Up, look, doing work. Happy with that. Medtronics, this was down last month. It's now up this month. So again, that's going showing good signs. Facebook or Meta platforms, down from when I invested, but this is. Mm, I can explain it. It's not a dividend payer, so it shouldn't really be in, in this portfolio the way I'm doing it, but to see it as a bit of a growth thing, but I like what the the idea behind what they want to do with the metaverse and I'm probably gonna i I'm slowly putting money into it but not a lot just to see how it goes. It's a tech company. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe hold that for another two, maybe three years, see if it starts moving in the right direction. If not I might bin it off. Microsoft doing okay national grid utilities so i'm into utilities at the moment i think they're going to be a good grower this year that they're my ones i'm adding to uh, doing okay paid a good dividend the other month as well so quite happy with that new core doing okay penning group this is utilities down but it took a massive dive last year but um still holding on to it it was my biggest payer last dividend payer last year as well though so uh see how this year goes with that and um yeah pepsi cola another food based commodity company doing okay um another etf for that for bonds bonds are down at the moment but they just pay a good dividend or just pay a monthly dividend doing okay another etf on us bonds just slightly up so it's doing okay PPPG Industries down. Why is that down? I need to look into that. I didn't realise that was down. Maybe there's some reason why that's down. Procter and Gamble up. It's doing good. 
Prospect Capital, like it, good company. Up, Reality Income, as a REIT there, as a monthly one, doing okay, doing well, up. Ricket, Bix, Benskis, oh no, I say it now, mouse's all gone. Down, oh, that's disappointing. I was doing okay the other day. Here we go, Tintno, mining company, that's my first mining one. Um, I really like this company. Probably want to put some more money into it. Probably want to. Might hmm. increase my holdings on that slightly more than I do than normally would. But yeah, doing okay. Let's do a dividend soon as well, I think. Rolls Royce Holding, this is one I added last month. Because um, they were on sale. Share prices at an all time low. Um, I believe these will be a share price of five pounds come the end of the year. And uh, I've noticed now quite a few other YouTube channels are, are doing quite a lot of thing, things on Rolls Royce. So they obviously agree, or I haven't seen one disagree with my opinion. So I expect this to start rising. I'll be sticking some more money in this. I think this is, this is one that's gonna come, come good. Especially when people start going on a holiday and then do a bit of defense, so especially for the RAF. So, um, again, could see some growth this year, could see some big growth, could be could be my star of the year. That's that's what I'm marking it as. So I'm like confident in it, it's my star of the year. Or come the end of the year, and it's a complete failure. I'll know about it, but I'll, I'll think I'm going to be right on that one. I think I'm going to do well. Rapid Technologies, doing okay, good. World Bank Calendar. Another one doing great finance. Sergo, it's, it's up it's, and it's holding on. I was in two mines last month. Where would I sell that? Because I'm, well, I don't know. I'll hold it a little bit longer, but it's not one of my favourites. I thought it would do really well, I thought it'd be really good, and so far I've just been disappointed with it since I've added it to the portfolio. So I think that might be gone by the end of the year. Unless it really starts picking up, but we'll see. And seven trend. This is another new one I've added this month. So the second one. Uh, it's utilities again. UK utilities. I'm going to start growing these this year. Uh, just because I think utilities has got a really good future or a really growth sector. Even with the turmoil that's going on and stuff, I think utilities are what I'm going to be putting quite a bit of money in. And finance. Utilities and finance this year really. And maybe some defence companies. I think they might be my three main sectors this year. Sure B, doing great. Love that company, so we're doing really well. Shell. This is not a true representation, because they when they changed, they took it away. But again, oil still doing really good. Um, I'm happy with that. Sherwin. Hmm. Down, it's not usually down. It's normally a break-evenly one for me at the moment. Stag, that's one of my best performing ones last year. I really like it, gonna keep hold of that. Starbucks down, that's a bit of a shame. That was up the other month. As this goes up, good. Achieve well price, down. Mm. Tesco's down, of course, doing better than Sainsbury's, but it's uh, down. Not really. Mm. I'm okay with that one. I think I'm still okay with that. I think I'm still, I'm not disappointed. But doing okay. I think that'll come good by the end of the year. Uh, the Renewable Infrastructure Group. This is a new one I added this year. It's doing really good. I mean, it's not doing really good, but I mean, it's doing, oh, sorry, it's doing okay. But again, it's renewables, the utilities. I'm liking it. It's up a little bit. It's giving me a dividend as well. So I'm happy. Unilever, that was another new one. That's down now. It's just a bit of a disappointing, but it's doing okay. I'm quite happy with it, actually. That's performing. We're into my Vanguard ETFs. Uh, up. So FTSE 100 up. FTSE All World Dividend up. Merging markets down, but recovering. So that was down a lot more the other week, the other month, sorry. That's recovering a lot. So I'm okay with that one. S&P 500, always doing well. Sort of like a benchmark, if you like. 
I sell my 29% overall and my portfolio when we get to that part is following the same sort of trend so that's good so that means I'm I'm now moving as the SP500 sort of benchmark for investing doing okay on that I think I'm quite so I am think I'm on track UK guilt down but it's an ETF and oh that one's up now and US corporate bonds up which is okay VCR properties up even though I want to sell it because I don't like it but it's up at the minute so that survives another month Fornado Reality Trust doing okay WW Granger Granger doing okay Walmart doing okay and finally Whitestone doing okay so that's that's my portfolio run through uh, quite a lot up quite a few down but overall more up than down a couple of new companies yeah reasonably happy reasonably happy this month I've had a big jump in in, in value and uh, yeah I'm um, I'm really happy this month I've had a good month so let's move over to the raw data and dividends so 3m paid me out 40 pence AFLAC paid out a dividend 35 pence which is good AGNC monthly dividend up again doing great like to see a good climbing on there Archer and Daniels first dividend then for the year 31p doing alright that's okay that's good first of the big ones BP oil's up but the dividend's not up as well I was expecting a bit more actually with the profits they're posting but maybe the next next paid dividend might be bigger but still good £2.62 still love my oil uh, Chevron another oil company 65 pence again doing great Emerson Electric Utilities 27 pence doing good this is Gladstone land this is sort of it hasn't grown it's sort of the dividends on low side I expect dividends to be a little bit higher even though the, the share price didn't okay the dividends aren't impressing me at the moment that's that's why I'm disappointed in it because I thought the dividends would be better IBM that's why I was impressed with them the share price recovered after their split and the dividends still good so I'm really happy with that my S&P 500 first ETF on that 12 pence first one that's okay uh, the other ETF for government bonds JP Morgan one 21 pence did okay not bad Johnson Johnson day one pence lovely lovely bubbly uh, what's the next on the list LTC properties another monthly dividend another grower See that now it's gone up, it's going up two pence a month now. If it stays like that, I'll be very happy towards the end of the year. Main Street Capital, another one. The share price is slightly growing, the dividends slightly growing each month, so that's good as well. I like to see, I like to see an upward trend. Uh, McDonald's paid out 28 pence, very happy with that. Microsoft, that's my first dividend from them, but I've got don't really hold much, so. That's a growth dividend as well. I'm hoping that's going to be in five years. Quite a good dividend payer. But I'm really happy. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm also really happy. I'm okay with that at the moment. Uh, ETF. That should pay up monthly. I don't know why I did. Why? I can't remember what I did pay up last month. I think, it's, I think it pays every 30 days. I think. And I think I might just have one in. I don't know. I don't know. It should pay out every month though. But did okay. Down slightly. Dip disappointment. And then the same with that one down slightly, but they they do pay. I'm okay with it. PPG 18 pence doing okay. Uh, Prospect Capital, another one I really like. Monthly dividend payer, nice to see that growing. Nice subtle trend. What's that? Two pence and then four pence. Good, good, good growth on that. Okay, mate. I'll lay long continue. Reality income, another monthly dividend. But I nice to see that going up each month as well. What we've got next Shoreby Communications. Um, it's a month for dividend is ground. I think I had two dividend payments in that month for some reason. But again, that to that still okay. Happy with that. 
Sherwin Williams, 10 pence. First one of the year is good. Stag, that was my best performer one last year. And I think it's going to be the best one. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be the best one again this year. It's doing really well. Nice to see nice and growth on there. Each month, month for month, dividends increasing. It's what we like to see. It really does help the compounding effect. So this goes 33 pence. It's quite good, actually. Uh, Unilever, that's my first dividend from them, 7 pence. I'm reasonably happy for the first one. Seems I've got very little in, in them at the moment. 7 pence seems really to be happy. Um, well, now, div month for dividend, UK guilt. But 10 pence, the ball it got last time, which is okay. And US corporate bonds down a pence this month. Hmm. They're not doing great, but can't change that. But I do, I do. If they're not doing great, why do you keep doing it? Well, they do pay monthly, and the compounding is okay because that does it doesn't just all go back into there, it just gets split across the other one. So they do okay, and they're quite a safe investment, really. Bonds, bonds, really safe. Uh, where are we at now? WW Granger, 18 pence. Okay, happy with that. And lastly, Whitestone. I just see that grow monthly dividend, monthly dividend payer and seeing growth, that's good. So last month I invested £162. I was going to finish it off. So total, I got £9.09. £9. Didn't quite break £10. So uh, I would have done, or I should have done, I should do. But Shell, I haven't received my Shell dividends yet. I should have paid this month. They got, they should have been paid on the 28th. But we're way trained to and operate. They're always delayed by a few days. I'm expecting that. So that'll probably end up being in April's dividend. But otherwise I would have broke double figures there. But £9, done really good. So I invested in March £162. This month I had um, the personal finances this month. I had car to sort out, car emitter, insurance, tax, tyres, etc. It was quite an expensive month personally. So I had less funds available to to spend on this. But I still put something in. So it's less than what I wanted, but I still got something in. So that means I've deposited £756 this year. With a total in of £3,560. Uh, with my dividend reinvestment, I'm up to, I'm invested £777. Give my total investment as £3,632. So that's my money and dividend reinvestment. Doing okay. So quite reasonable. That's still less than 4K. So we're up, what, four, 500 quid? I might put that. Uh, the value, that was done earlier. So it was at 409. Here's where it starts getting interesting. So he's on the on the board so from last month I was actually running a loss of about 13% on this on this year overall I was up 6% so within a month the, the money I've invested this year has turned around from a 13% loss to a 20% profit that's massive that's a massive turnaround that's a win really happy with that really happy yeah, that's a massive turnaround. And overall, uh, I've gone from like six percent, so I've doubled. I'm doubled. I'm doubled what I'm up, which I'm. You can't have. You can't argue with, can you? Love it. Absolutely smashing it. Um, my return on dividend investment this year, I'm running at two point six seven percent so far. Really yeah, happy. That's quite. That's more than I expected actually. But half percent more than I really expected. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, like I said, I'm at £21, 20 pounds, 21 pence for dividend. And my dividend yield nearly broke the 2% mark this month, nearly. So I think it was like bashing around 1.87 or something like that last month, something like that. So it's gone up a few good few points on the yield. Really happy with that. I'm expecting that to be, I want that to be 2.5%, 2 by the end of the year. So I'm good with that. Total dividends, so total dividends since I've started this is £71, so I'm happy with that. And my average dividends per month this month, so this is over a 12 month average for this year, is £1.68, but if you do, I'm set by 3, what are we at? 3, 10, 19, 20. But I'm running about £7 a month average at the moment. Not a fair assessment, 
Yeah. Nearly seven pounds a month average so far this year. But over the year it's uh something I want that to be what I say, eight pounds I think I said I want that to be. Eight to ten pounds, so we're on target with that. Um, my capital growth for hundred and sixty pounds this year. So on what that means, so with people I've put in £750 and on that £750 I've actually made £150. Not bad is it? You wouldn't get that in the bank. If you'd put £750 in your bank account in January you wouldn't be expected to be made £150 of interest or £160 of interest come March. So I'm happy. Overall yeah up about 500 quid. So doing okay. So next one I've looked at my little charts I do. So this is my, how I track it visually for dividends per month. So as you can see, January started down here, a little rise for February and a massive jump to March. Ding, ding, really happy. So using the lowest full pound mark of, and I've hit a low average or minimum bar of five pounds a month for the first quarter. So I'm happy with that. I'm hoping now for the next quarter, that that's going to be six pounds. That's what I want to maintain. So let's see what happens. But there, yeah, no, looking good. I can see a nice rise in there. That will drop down next month because the third month of every quarter is always the best one for me. And the first one is usually the worst. So I'm expecting that to be, well, I'm hoping it will be more than six pounds, but I'm expecting that to come back down here. On to my um, little chart where I look at visually how the companies are paying out if I can click the right button let's move a little bit so as you can see so when I was mentioning on the when I was going through my stocks penning group that is my biggest dividend payer last year and I haven't had anything yet so far this year but it's still number one dividend payer even though share price is down so I am gonna hold on to that one it's utilities as well uh, next one obviously next one obviously BP one of my biggest holdings, I think it's number one in my portfolio. Dividends paying, that's number two. Number three, just still just about Shell. When it pays out again, that will definitely be a clear number third place. Uh, prospect Capital is number four on the list. Doing good. And number five, AGNC. So that's doing well. Followed by us close for British Tobacco. Yeah, so there, so there's my top five, doing really good. Some of these other ones you can see, say some of these new ones, so about doing so well. So, uh, come October time, I sort of I'll, I'll review the whole portfolio, and maybe remove some of the worst performer ones. Maybe not. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's have a quick look at my comparison for the ISA. So if I put the money in the ISA. For this month, I've updated the interest rate because interest rates have rised in the UK. So I checked out Barclays one year flex cash ISA. That interest rate has gone from 0.2% annually to 0.55% annually. So I've so I'm doing this monthly so I can keep it sort of like like comparison. If I'd have invested, if I'd have put £160 in that ISA, I would have had £1.64 in interest. Give me a final balance of 3582 for the month. So let's compare that to what I got. I got in investing nine pounds. So that's seven and a half quid more. Um, what was my final balance? Uh, three, three and a half. And I'm at four. So give or take. No, it's nearly five, six. So I'm 500 pounds up. So at the moment, um, I'm doing, I'm beating the ISAs, beating the interest, bank of interest rates, I'm beating Barclays, I'm beating that. So I've had a really good month, really happy. Uh, so quick look, this is sort of my predictor. So can I make 50k in five years? Uh, at the moment, the answer is no. Uh, to looking like to get 50k is looking at 13 years at the moment. But so a few caveats here um as the more data i collect the more accurate i can make this model and it's only a model 
it's it's not guaranteed to happen it's only a model but i've done a few tweaks so these numbers have been a little bit lower than what's probably shown before but it's it's rolling more true now let's get these calculations right that's important the accuracy trying to get this on point because uh historical data does not mean future gains so but I'll, it does look okay so at the moment uh am i going to make 50k in five years short answer not yet but who knows what's around the corner but i'm reasonably happy where i am these are what was predicted before so i'm not expecting this i think this is going to be out i don't think that's going to get that high i think i'm going i might get to 8,000 I think around that ballpark by the end of the year but I think my dividends and my capital growth I think my capital growth might buy slightly I think that because I think I changed the calculation as well but I think my dividends I predicted at the beginning of the year that I think I'd get 105 pounds this year in dividends I think I'm going to do I'm going to beat that I think I'm going to beat that by about 10 10 pounds I think I don't know what we've got so far so that's good okay that rounds it up for for this month uh if you find this this interesting you find it helpful and um you want to get into investing then um if you follow this link here so if you enter this if you sign up for trading 212 which are taken on customers you, you'll get entered onto a waiting list as they process you but they are taking on new customers so when you sign up if you use my referral code uh I'll get a free share and you'll get a free share so that could be worth 100 pounds could be worth a pound could be worth anything we don't know it's a random but it will help me out and it'll help you out and it will help I got on this channel um, or anything I, I think sort of made a decision to begin the end thing I could make through doing this I will donate to a charity so I might do a little competition come the end of the year for picking a charity out but anything I make through this I will donate to charity Okay, guys, uh, so if you enjoyed this, yeah, and you want to get invested in, follow that code and uh, like and subscribe. Cheers, guys. See you next month.